Hello everyone and welcome to our Digi Shifai Finance and Operation Module Wise Training Series. So in this episode, we will discuss how to create a vendor, what is the party, how the party is associated with the vendor master, and multiple ways to create a vendor master. And we will also demonstrate you the process of how you can release the one vendor to the multiple legal entities. So let's first create a vendor. To navigate a vendor, we need to go to all vendors. Let's open the modules. Inside module, you have procurement and sourcing. So inside vendors, you have all vendors. So this all vendor form is a legal entity specific form. So you can see here all the vendors which is associated with the USMF legal entity. So let's create our new vendor. So first is a vendor account. In our current system, the vendor account is entered by the manually. So let's create the number sequence for the vendor. We'll duplicate this. Now this time we'll go to accounts and payable. In the setup, we have accounts payable parameter. We'll click on the number sequence. First is a vendor account. So this number sequence, we need to make it automatic. So let's view details. You can add our your number sequence as per your requirement. So timing, I'm just make it automated and save. Again, go to all vendor form, refresh this form. Again, click on the new button. Now you can see our vendor account is automatically assigned through the number sequence. So the next type is a organization or person. So as per your company requirement, you can save the vendor between these two types. So now I'll save it as an organization, enter the name of a vendor. So the next parameter is a group. Group is a very important part in the vendor group. So you first you need to create a vendor group and this vendor group is assigned to the vendor. So let's again go to the procurement and sourcing module. Inside vendors, we have vendor group. Here we create our new vendor. This vendor is provided by the Microsoft default data. So let's create our new. For the terms of payment, I have not provided the terms of payment in the vendor group level. I normally prefer to assign the terms of payment at the vendor master level. So we'll save this one. Again, go to our previous form where we're creating the vendor. Now I'll open the group and assign our new vendor group to our vendor. Click on save. In the number of employees, you can mention the number of employees working in your for your supplier. If your vendor have any specific organization number, so you can num mention that number over here. The ABC code is for the classification. It's only used for the reporting purpose. So I'll not use anything. I'll make it none as it is. So the next is important is a vendor collaboration. In the vendor collaboration, we provide a platform to our vendor to see their purchase order or change request or some purchase requisition they can see through their mobile portal which provided by us. So we will discuss about the vendor collaboration in our future episode in very detailed manner. So now I'll just save it. So you can see over here our new, new vendor is created in the system. So in some scenario, for example, you have created vendor for the legal entities USMF. Now you want to re release this vendor for the multiple legal entity or you want to use this vendor for your all the companies. So in this scenario, you need to create a vendor as a party and release this party vendor to the specific legal entity. So just I'll demonstrate this process with you. This first we need, we create a party. So we'll go to the organization administration collapse in the global address book. We'll click on the global address book. Let's create new party over here. You can see, you can also get the same form which you get at the all vendor level or all vendor master level. Here we create our new vendor. You can also mention the organization type over here. All the th other things are number of uh, employees, organization number, ABC codes. In the party level, just will enter the address. So let's save this address. So in the contact information, I will add the form number and make it as a primary. Now my party is created. You can see in the party inside new column, you find the vendor button. Let's click on this vendor button. So by clicking on the vendor button, you will automatically navigate to the all vendor and your vendor is created. See now the account number is 002 and your new vendor is created for the USMF legal entity. Now we select the group for our new vendor. You can see over here the address and the contact information is 
inherited from the party level so by using this process you can create one party and release that party to the specific legal entity as a vendor now we'll again go to our main party which we created in the organization administration so you can see in the party level in the roles you can find the vendor which is created through this party so by this information you will get an idea of that vendor is used for the which legal entity so that's it for this video in our next episode we will more detail discuss about the all vendor master fields which is important in the finance and operation for purchase and purchase requisition process thank you for watching